from Walker County to West Virginia and back again. Good evening, I'm Sherry Jackson. And I'm Trent Butler. This is an investigation that has taken many turns with CBS 42 following developments to both states to bring you the very latest in this case. Tonight, Wanda Kaiser is back in Alabama. This started with a bizarre disappearance, followed by the discovery of a human skull in Walker County. Then human remains were found in a storage unit in the state of Virginia. CBS 42's Melissa Crabtree is live in Jasper outside the Walker County Jail. And Melissa, you were there as Wanda Kaiser arrived from West Virginia. Wanda Kaiser has been fighting extradition back to Alabama for months to face those 17 counts of forgery. But the main question that prosecutors and family members of Mary Cobb and Winona Del Vecchio want answers to is what happened to them. Wanda, why did you have remains of two bodies in your storage unit? Frail and in poor health Wanda, today, prosecutors to say they have friends. proof Wanda Kaiser was at one time keen enough to steal thousands of dollars in benefits from two women who weren't even alive anymore. Forensic evidence and a trail of alleged forged documents is the key to this case, according to the district attorney's office. Prosecutors say now that the remains of two bodies discovered in Kaiser's West Virginia storage unit have been sent to the Smithsonian for positive identification, it's just a matter of time. Dr. Doug Ousley is also identifying the skull found underneath the house where both Cobb and Del Vecchio were last seen 10 years ago. Wanda, did you kill Mary Cobb and Winona Del Vecchio? They believe the timeline connecting the death of the women and the forgeries will lead to Kaiser's conviction. Well, I think uh, it gets us one step closer for this case to start and to bring justice uh, to uh, Miss Cobb uh, and Mr. Vecchio and their loved ones and the people of this county. Uh the judge has set Kaiser's bond extremely high. She will remain in jail unless she can come up with five hundred thousand dollars in cash to bond out. Back to you.